Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the application of double integrals. So for this particular example, we're going to compute the mass and then we're gonna compute the center of mass. And we're also gonna compute the moment of inertia about the x-axis, which we're gonna use the notation I sub x and about the y-axis, which will denote by I sub y of a lamina with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, if the density function is given as this right here. Okay, so what we're looking at is a region, and let's consider that's our lamina or a very thin, flat plate, and we want to figure out what's the center of mass for that particular plate. So we're going to need few formulas that I would like you to remember. So hopefully you know that the mass of this particular object it's going to be the double integral over the region it occupies, let's call it R, times the density function dA. That's your formula to find the mass of this particular lamina. And then once we have that, we can now talk about center of mass. So the center of mass, meaning the balance point of this particular object, it's gonna be given by X bar, Y bar, since it's a two dimensional object. So how do we find them? So we have uh, two more formulas for this. So X bar, we're gonna compute that by figuring out the uh, uh, the moment about the Y axis. So that's M sub Y over the mass and the Y bar or the average of the Y coordinate is going to be the moment about the X axis over the mass. So that's how you're gonna compute these particular uh, components to figure out center of mass. So what we're really doing is pretty much the, the first moment about an axis is defined by the product of the mass times the distance for that particular axis. So what I mean by that is we're going to figure out the moment about the x-axis. That's gonna be the double integral over the region it occupies times y because that will be the distance from any point in the region to that axis uh, x axis times the density function times dA and similarly the moment about the y axis will be the double integral over the region R times x that will be how, that, that's how we're going to measure the distance from the y axis um, to the lamina or a point inside that lamina times the dis, um, density functions times uh, dA. So these are the particular components. And once you have them, you simply plug them in here. So this will give you the um, mx over the mass and this you will plug in right here. And once you take the ratio, you get the center of mass. So let's go ahead and compute them for this particular problem. And then we'll discuss the uh, a moment of inertia a little bit later. So here's how you're going to set up the integral. So my focus for this video is to help you set up the double integral for these particular components. Once you have them, integrating shouldn't be a problem. So um, let's go ahead and find the mass first. So one, we're gonna figure out the mass of this lamina. So that's the double integral over the region R. So we'll compute the region R uh, of the density function. So the density function is given as one plus three X plus y dA. Let's figure out what where is this region R. Here's our xy plane. And we have the vertices given as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2. So 0, 0 is right here. And then 1, 0, let's suppose it's right here. And then uh, 0, 2, perhaps up here. So not so up to scale, but uh, let's maybe let's suppose it's right here. Okay. 0, 2. So we have uh, a triangular region for R. So I'm just going to connect them and show you how the region R looks like. So having difficulties. Now I got it. All right. So our region R is right here. That's the lamina we're looking at. So this is our region of integration. Okay. Uh, so uh, you can pick dA to be either dy dx or dx dy. I think I want to do vertical cross section. So I'm going to do respect to y first and then x. So I will be selecting my dA to be dy d 
dx. So I need to find the equation of this line right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use the points law form and you'll see the equation of the line. It's going to be two minus two X. So a little bit of algebra will give it to you. Okay, so that means our double integral for M is going to be, uh, first we're going to go from zero to one. That's the bound on X. So we'll, we'll, X will range from zero to one and then Y will range from the top bottom to top. So the bottom is zero and the top is going to be 2 minus 2x of the density function. So that's 1 plus 3x plus y dy dx. So this will give you the mass. So after, after finishing up the integration, you will see that the mass will come out to be about 8 over 3. So please go ahead and work that out and check that you get the mass of this lamina to be 8 over 3. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Now let's go ahead and set up the ex integral expression for center of mass. So we're going to have to find the moments of uh, x and y. So let's go ahead and compute them now. So our moment about the x-axis, well, that's going to be our double integral. So it's the same double integral that we just set up above for mass. So you'll go from the integral from 0 to 1 and then from zero to the line two minus two x. Now moment about the x, the distance is measured by y times the density, that's one plus three x plus y uh, dy dx. So everything stays almost identical to the setup for this because that's your region r, except that you get this extra factor because you're looking at the moment about the x-axis. So again, I'll leave the integration process up to you. Uh, please finish it up. I'll give you the answer at the end. Now let's find the moment about the y-axis. So that will be again the same double integral. So we're going from 0 to 1 and then from 0 to 2 minus 2x. So moment about the y, you're going to multiply by x times the density 1 plus 3x plus y. Again, same uh, order of integration dy dx. And then once you do this, you will also get a number. So now to find the center of mass, let's call that uh, uh, the following. Let's call center of mass. So this will be x bar, y bar. And x bar is going to be the number. You're going to take the moment about the y-axis divided by the mass. And then you're going to take the moment about the x-axis divided by the mass. That will be the y-coordinate. And as you compute them, I, I believe for the moment um, and the center of mass, you're going to get for the x coordinate 3 over 8 and for uh, 3 over 8. And then for the y coordinate, you should get about 11 over 16. So those are going to be your values for x bar and y bar. OK, so I hope this makes sense. Uh, now let's take a look at moment of uh, inertia. So that will be the second moment of mass. So for moment of inertia, so we have the following. We have two uh, formulas for this. So you can look at the moment about uh, the second moment about the x-axis. So this is the moment about the x-axis, which is going to be our um, definition as the double integral over that same region R where the lamina occupies uh, times y squared times the density function dA. So the new factor we're seeing here is this y squared. So it's the square distance from the um, a point from a point in the lamina to the uh, axis of rotation or the x-axis in this case. And the inertia about the y-axis, so that will be, again, the double integral over the region R of x squared times the density times dA. So these are the two formulas for moment of inertia of a two-dimensional uh, uh, lamina or an, a thin plate. So for this particular example, we we'll also want to find them. So let's go ahead and find them quickly. So our moment of inertia about the x-axis. So we have the same double integral from 0 to 1. That's the outer integral. The inner integral is from 0 to 2 minus 2x. Now we multiply this by y squared times the density, which is our um, equation 1 plus 
3x plus y uh, dy dx. That'll be the setup. And then after you uh, follow through the integration, you will get the um, inertia about the x-axis found to be 52 over 15. And then the moment of inertia about the y-axis, that'll be again the same double integral from zero to one, and then from zero to two minus two x of um, x squared times the density, which is one plus three x plus y dy dx. After you compute the integral, you'll get the i sub y to be about two over three. So these are going to be our second moment of mass or we call them the moment of inertia about the x-axis and the y-axis. All right, uh, that's it. I hope this makes sense. So please practice with your integration techniques and be comfortable getting these answers. Take care, see you next time.